Hello again. So here are the two I finished together today. Um, I've been working on these just for a couple of days. So they're also uh, made with file folders. And what I did with these is I started with um, an envelope, which I was going to use as a pocket. And then I thought, you know, I'm going to just turn that into a cover because I like the way it looks on the green. So this one is, uh, it starts with an envelope, like I said, and then I just added some d bits and pieces of things and then kind of used this bird as my focal point. So I like how that came out and did a lot of stitching on there, um, some scallop stitching, elastic closure. I just put the hole right there and put a button on there so it doesn't pull through. So inside pocket has a collage tag. And uh, it's I collaged onto a an old postcard which was just blank on this side. So, and this is a page from the butterfly book, and a belly band with some offcuts. Because I after I made these, I have all these little scraps here which I will use to make another journal. Just a little another little notepad size one, you know, kind of like this one. So, but this one I just took, you know, three different pieces here and stitched them together, just stitched right down the middle with my sewing machine and added uh, some stamped. This is actually, so I started saving all my tea bags and I have a bunch of them and I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with all this, but I like this paper. I kind of use it sometimes as collage, sometimes as a background, but it's, you know, it's fairly strong, so... Um, got to think of something more to do with it, but like anytime I have a cup of tea, I, I don't throw the bags any, away anymore. I save them and stamp on them, which that's a good thing to do with them. Some of uh, my stained paper, I think that was um, beet, cooking, beet cooking juice with some stencils thrown in. And a page from a flower book. A tea stain with some ink. I had fun just putting little tabs on the pages with scraps of fabric that were left over from this project. <laughs> so there's some tea stain with, with beet juice. Just a little uh, picture clipped on there. I think that came from one of the Cavallini posters. Edith, Edith Holder page, um, little tag I made. It has actually two tags tied together. I like to put this one on the outside. There. Just cut that out of a scrap. There's some of that leaf ribbon. This is from my Salvador Dali book, which, by the way, it, it's a, about Salvador Dali, and I guess he was a Spaniard or Italian, I'm not sure. But the book is a Chinese book, so on the back, all the writing was Chinese, and I actually just decided to put some extra writing space here. I think on one of the pages I left the Chinese writing. So I thought that was kind of an interesting book. Here I did a little stenciling. I did that color, the colored this with the uh, bleeding tissue. I thought that scrap went well with that. This is a page from that book I have with all the beautiful little old-fashioned silhouettes in it. It's got a picture of a shoe, and it's kind of like a riddle. Who am I? Because I kind of think it's Cinderella. Some uh, rice paper. This is from a book about dance. It has nice big pages, so I was able to fold fold it to turn it into some pockets. And so here is a, a print of a woodcut. And on this side, a collage tag. And see, you can see I used some of that um, tea bag paper there, and then some of that really thin fil filter paper that I got. Uh, put that as a, a layer in the back of it. So I thought that came out nice. I like the colors in it. So 
So I see here's a, a sailor doing a jig from that book about dances. My sister found it and she thought I would like it and I did. <clears throat> Those are so pretty. So this was actually the back page of another book, um, the Woodland Life book. And I'm actually using some of the pages from that book too in here. And so it had the library card uh, pocket on there still. So I decided to just um, incorporate it into this journal and keep it. And just put a couple little tags in there from my the Langlois Public Library, which they had a big book sale a few months ago, which I went to. Great, great book sale. I found a lot of neat books there. Yeah, this is a page from that book, um, Woodland Life. So I stamped on a little piece of, um, that's not muslin, it's some of that, you know, that handmade paper. Uh, um, I just, I don't know what... I'm not sure what it's made out of, but um, I think it's made in Nepal. So this one I dyed a, a different color. This one I tea stained. I like how it looks when it tears. Just a little pocket there. It's got a pocket on the po on the pocket. So in here's a little ticket and a tea bag fortune and a collage tag scraps glued down on the back for writing space. And another collage tag in the back pocket. Okay, so this one has just an elastic closure that goes like this. Now on this one, um, so I, I went to put the hole in here for the, I was gonna do it just like this one, right? But I put the hole like way too low. I was off on my measuring. So I thought, well, I don't like the look of that. So I put another hole up here. So now the center is actually right here. So these are uh, both on either side of the center. So then I had already cut the elastic. And so what I did was I put the elastic through those two holes right there. You can see it. And so then I thought, well, I'll just have it go around the back. And I put a button here. And so that kind of makes my closure, which I, I kind of like how it looks because the, there's no elastic covering the front. It all, it's all right here in the back. So who knows? I might try this technique again, but it was something that I really hadn't intended on doing. <laughs> okay, so the cover of this one is just like the other one. It started with an envelope, an airmail envelope. And I did some collage on here. There's some fabric and a stamp, a couple of stamps, a ticket, and a mushroom sticker. I like the colors. And this is the, this is what goes in the pocket. And so the, I don't know why that's getting hung up. There. Um, so this is a page from the butterfly book to start the signature. And once again, more uh, tea stain paper and different kinds of hand dyed paper. Tea bag, stamping on a tea bag. There's a page from that Woodland book. And a flower book. This is more of that kind of, um, it's not really rice paper. It's not locked to, I'm not sure if the if it's mulberry paper or what, but anyway, it's cool. Handmade paper. Uh, more silhouettes from that beautiful little book. Hand colored paper. This was just a little scrap that had a fringe on it, and so I'm using that as a little tab there. Another, uh, this was a page from that library book. It says Langlois Public Library. So here's the, 
the Salvador Dali book with the Chinese writing on the back. But there was some extra writing space up there, so I didn't cover it up. This is from that dance book. So this is a, a tag I've got with a set of tags. I think they're Cavallini tags. I like this playing card because it's just naturally grimy. <laughs> I like it. It's, it has some real nice grime on there, and I love that picture too. So there's our go there. And on this side, another old playing card with boats on it. And this is actually not a real playing card. It's a faux playing card, but I like it. So, And I did I stitch on some writing paper. Some little girls doing their dance. Another page from the Salvador Dali book. This is the front cover of that Woodland Life book. Which the page size was pretty close to what my journals were, so they worked out really well. Um, I don't see a date on there. A little tab I sewed on. Dyed paper. Really dark tea stain here. I use tea pretty much exclusively. I do not do coffee stain. Uh, except when I have like something immediate, like I say, I want to really, you know, dye this piece of paper. Well, I might mix up some instant coffee and do that one piece, but when I'm doing a batch, I always use, I like to use tea. So this one has a tag in it also. Some pretty ribbon on it. has the unusual wraparound closure. So that's the two I finished this morning. So now you're all caught up on what I've been working on and hope you're all having a nice time staying at home. I'm enjoying it because I have my studio here, of course. But of course, there's no farmer's market, which is sad. So I don't have an outlet for these. I might actually, if, you know, people are interested I might do an inventory of what I've got and and just show them you know show them all and see if anybody's interested in getting some of them I mean because I have like these leftover ones from last year this one is for sale it's, I, I think it's so pretty it came out really beautiful I love the colors of it it's a hundred dollars but with shipping it would probably be 110 I love this one love the fabric I mean I put so much a lot of work into it and I you know I really had started you know stocking up getting ready for the farmers market so I don't know if we're gonna open up later this fall we'll have to see but in the meantime I'm enjoying working so that's what I like to do anyway I've, I've, I now have as much time as I want to work on this okay you all have a great day thanks <laughs>